Moving on, civil society organizations led by Uchaguzi platform Umbrella are calling on the country's leadership to give up their hardline stance and instead engage in talks with Azimiola Omoja to end the issues leading to the protests that have left tens of Kenyans dead and property destroyed. A move that has been endorsed by different political leaders across the country as Azimiola Omoja protests are expected to enter the fourth wave from this coming Wednesday. Willy Lusige reports. A few days after Azimio Laumoj on Thursday called for fresh protests on Wednesday next week, despite a warning by the government that outlawed any form of demonstrations, civil society organizations under the Uchaguzi platform have asked President William Ruto and opposition leader Raila Odinga to embrace dialogue. Uh, the leadership of uh, Kenya, the ruling Kenya Kwanza and Azimio coalition uh, formed or established the bipartisan uh, parliamentary dialogue process but for all intents and purposes, uh, that uh, committee or that bipartisan uh, committee has stalled, uh, if not outrightly collapsed. The group said the bipartisan talks by opposition legislators and those allied to President William Ruto's Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance may give Kenyans a glimmer of hope as it created an opportunity to address issues affecting them, calling for an immediate revival of the bipartisan talks and emphasize the importance of making it a multi-sectoral representation beyond just the two political factions. We call for an immediate revival of the bipartisan talks and emphasize the importance of making it a multi-sectoral representation. The bipartisan talks gave Kenyans a glimmer of hope as it created a golden opportunity for issues affecting Kenyans to be deliberated and addressed. Leaders should use their positions responsibly, promote unity, understanding, and constructive dialogue rather than adding fuel to the flames of unrest. Opposition leader Raila Odinga called off demonstrations in April and May after Ruto agreed in principle to a dialogue which has failed to materialize, with both sides accusing each other of sabotage. A section of leaders across the country also supporting the resumption of the bipartisan talks. But the solution to this problem, ni Mweshima William Samoy Ruto, yeye ni rice. Yeye ni an instrument of power. Aite Raila, wakaye pa moja, Garama maisha irudi chini na hii maneno hii ishe. Akae chini aite watu asimio wasikilizane nao. Rais Ruto tumesikia uchungu watoto wetu anakufa. Vile tumebeba na vile tumesikia uchungu tunaona uchungu. Hata wale Kenya na upendo na amani. Siasa wao siongeze ya Kenya. Similar to what was echoed by leaders from the Ma community. We want our leaders to talk, we want our leaders to meet, we want our leaders to discuss so that the cost of living can come down. Civil societies are also pushing for constitution of IBC commissioners for the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission, IBC, to be able to conduct its business. Journalists play a critical role in providing unbiased information to the public and we call upon all parties to respect media freedom. The opposition has called for the ninth round of protests this week, even after President Ruto called for their halt because they are not a solution to the problems of Kenyans. Now, Uliza, Inspector General of Police, na Waziri wa Internal Security, Nataka will institute measures to chunguze wale askari wala natumia bunduki vibaya sahia maandamana. Katiba, Article 37, nasema, you are free kuandamana. Wili Lusige Kete News, Nairobi. Moving on, Busia Senator Okeo Mtata says he won't be threatened.